Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to test four different types of camera so we can use it on the uh, F450 quadcopter. We already decided to use um, this transmitter instead of the Hubson but we haven't, I haven't decided what camera to use but I wanted to keep the theme as cheap as possible. So what I'm going to do is test the Hobson as a benchmark on on the hub on its uh, transmitter. And I'll also video it, video it on the camera I'm using there, the head camera, and also the camera on the uh, transmitter itself, so we can compare all the videos. The ping pong ball is going to be a bounce test, so the idea is to check the speed of each camera so when the ball bounces uh, hopefully we can see the difference in speed if that's going to work and the cameras I say we're going to use are the Hobson uh, built-in camera the keychain camera that I'm uh, filming this on now the wing camera which is a wide angle 120 wide angle screen camera it looks very nice so we'll, we'll test this one also the, what I talked about in the other video the pinhole camera so how do all these can this is the cheapest out of all of them but how how do they all compare view it on the Hobson screen. So we'll start off uh, the first test. Is going to, all these tests are going to be exactly the same. So what, what, how are we going to work this? Is there with me? We don't need obviously the transmitter and battery for this test because it's just a standard Hobson. So we'll switch it off first. And when we switch back on and ask to bind, bind, and straight to where we'll have instant video. So I'll get the best handle of each one. Mount this one second. Looks about good. And now for the ping pong ball test. Open it now. And stop in the video. And that's going to be the same test for the other three um, cameras. The next one is the keychain camera. For this I need the transmitter, a battery and the lead. Plug in our battery and the red light should come on to say it's working. The um, black lead is to the right. And when we plug in our lead and switch on, we should have live video to the screen. And we're going to do the same test again. Okay, start recording. For a speed test. Next is the wing camera. Change the lead on that one. First of all, turn on the camera first. Go to the 
blue and yellow light. Black lead to the right, plug in. With the circuit board facing upwards, that's going to be, otherwise it'd be upside down the way, that's the correct way. It looks a sharp uh, picture. The delay on the, the picture itself looks quite good. Stop recording. And turn off. And finally. The pinhole camera. So here's a plug in, you should get a live feed. Nice crisp video that does. That's really good. Okay, start recording and drop the ping pong ball for the speed. Yes, no delay and really crisp picture. So in my opinion, the cheapest camera of them all, the pinhole camera, I would say was the best. Switching off recording. And what I'll do with all the recordings from this memory card, I'll convert them uh, with the with a video converter um, and then put all these, these videos I've taken on the card on this video as well but it looks like this is the best video <coughs> with this setup so it's a really cheap um, really cheap pinhole camera easy setup and all we need now is a decent screen because um, I want to, I want to put the screen on the on my existing transmitter, not to have this as a ground station. Even though this one's going, looks like it's going to work fine. But I'm going to experiment now with the screen. So I'll get a small screen, and then compare this screen with with my other screen I'm going to get next. But this is a setup, the best setup so far. Hope you enjoyed.